everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided I would share my recipe for pot stickers with you guys. So what I'm going to need for my pot stickers today is some ground turkey. I've already gone ahead and browned this in my pan with a few tablespoons of oil. You could go ahead and use ground chicken, you could use ground beef, or you could use shrimp, or you could use fish, whatever suits your taste. I also have some chopped cabbage. I just went ahead and chopped it pretty finely and I went ahead and I washed it and let it drain. I also have some shredded carrots. I have some sliced scallions, some chopped onion, some minced garlic, some Worcestershire sauce, some sesame oil, some soy sauce, some weary weary pepper that I went ahead and I chopped up. Now you can use any type of hot pepper. I also have some ginger, some salt and pepper to taste as well as my wonton wrappers. In the same pan that you browned your meat in, you're going to go ahead and add in a few teaspoons of oil and then you're going to go ahead and add in all of your chopped garlic and then you're going to go ahead and add in all of your grated ginger and your chopped hot pepper. Now, if you did not want hot pepper in this dish, you could go ahead and omit it or you could use as much or as little as you would like. So I'm just going to let these fry in the oil for just a few seconds, just until it becomes a little fragrant. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in all of my scallions. Now what you're going to want to do is stir this around and let this fry for about a minute, just until the garlic starts to get a little golden. After garlic becomes golden brown and the pepper and the ginger have become fragrant, it's time to go ahead and add in all of your chopped onions. What you're going to go ahead and do at this point is give this whole mixture a stir and let these onions fry up until they've gotten a bit translucent. This should take about two to three minutes and then I'll show you guys the next step. After about two minutes, you're going to notice that all of your onions start to get very translucent. So what we're going to do now is add in all of the chopped cabbage. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and stir this whole mixture and get that cabbage coated in all of the seasonings and the veggies that we've already had in the pot. Once you've gotten your cabbage properly incorporated, it's time to go ahead and add in some of the other seasonings. So I'm going to go in with all of that soy sauce and then I'm going to go ahead and add in my Worcestershire sauce. Both of these are going to add a really nice color to the filling for these pot stickers. And then I'm going to go in with my black pepper. And of course, you can go ahead and add in as little or as much black pepper as you'd like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give this a stir and I'm going to cover the pot. I'm going to lower the heat to a medium heat and I'm going to let this cook for about 15 minutes. About 15 minutes, you're going to see that the cabbage mixture has cooked down very nicely. So you're going to go ahead and add in all of your carrots at this point. And then we can go ahead and add in all of the ground meat that we browned earlier. Now, if you wanted, as I said before, you could use chicken, you could use beef, you could use shrimp, you could use fish, use whatever suits your taste. You could play around with this and really make it your own. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a stir and I'm going to allow this to cook for another five minutes just so that those carrots can soften a bit and all of those flavors can marry together and mix into that meat. After about five minutes, you're going to see that those carrots have softened up really nicely. At this point, we're going to go ahead and add in all of our sesame oil. And then you also want to taste this mixture and see if it needs any more salt or pepper. So as you guys can see, I'm adding in a little more salt. What you're going to want to do now is give it a stir and then take it off of the heat and let it cool so we can fill our pot stickers later. Once your mixture is cooled completely, it's time to go ahead and fill all of your pot stickers. So you want to take one of your wonton wrappers and then you want to make sure to have some water on standby so you can go ahead and seal the sides. So you're going to take some of that water and you're going to go ahead and put it on all four sides of that wonton wrapper. And then you're going to take about a tablespoon of your mixture. You do not want a lot to overfill these. And then you're going to go ahead and just place it in the middle and then you're going to wrap all of the sides and pinch them together. Now I find that this is the easiest way to fill my pot stickers, but if you have another way that's easier for you, go ahead and do that. I just find that this is the easiest for me and I'm totally fine with this shape. So I'm going to show you guys how to do another one. What you're going to want to do is take the wonton wrapper and you're going to go ahead and wet all four sides. And then we're going to go ahead and place a tablespoon of that mixture in the middle. And then we're going to go ahead and pinch all of the sides together to make it look like a little purse or a little dumpling. So I'm going to go ahead and continue filling all of my wonton wrappers with this mixture. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how we cook these. 
After you've filled all of your pot stickers, it's time to go ahead and start the cooking process. So what I've done here is I've heated up a few teaspoons of oil in my pan, and I've gone ahead and I've laid down all of my pot stickers in that hot oil. My pan is on a high heat right now, but you could keep it regulated between a medium high heat just so that the bottom of these pot stickers can get nice and brown. So this took about a minute for me, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and fill the pan up about a quarter of the way with some water. As soon as you pour that water in, you want to go ahead and cover your pan, and we're going to go ahead and let these steam for about five minutes. You want to go ahead and lower your heat to a medium-low heat for this step. After about five minutes, or once all of that liquid has evaporated, it's time to go ahead and remove these pot stickers from the pan. As you guys can see, the outside of these pot stickers or that wonton wrapper has gotten nice and translucent. That's a really good sign that these pot stickers are done. So I'm just going to go ahead and take them out, put them on my plate, and I'm going to set them aside. And we're going to go ahead and move on to making a nice little dipping sauce for these pot stickers. Making the sauce for these pot stickers is quite simple. It only requires two ingredients. In my bowl here, I have some red pepper jelly that I've gone ahead and put in the microwave just for a few seconds so it could loosen up a bit. Now, if you did not have access to red pepper jelly, you could go ahead and use the sweet red chili sauce that you would normally dip like egg rolls or spring rolls into. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is into my red pepper jelly, I'm going to go ahead and add in my soy sauce that I have here. This sauce is just really nice and spicy and sweet at the same time, and the soy sauce adds a really nice saltiness to it. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this all to get it combined properly, and then you can go ahead and serve your pot stickers with it right away. All right, everyone, I just wanted to give you guys a quick close-up of these pot stickers. I'm going to break one open and show you guys what it looks like on the inside. That filling is just perfect. I went ahead and I gave these a taste prior to showing you guys this, and oh my gosh, these were so good. Once you give it a little dip in that sauce, it'll be perfect. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please go ahead and give my video a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so yet. And go ahead and comment down below on what you guys would like to see next. Also, feel free to comment and let me know how this recipe turned out if you gave it a try. Thanks for watching. <music>